When I was a kid, I had a really um, terrible model of cosmology. I knew that the Earth was round, but I thought we lived inside of it. I remember the revelation of realizing that we lived on the outside. It didn't bode well for my future as a cosmologist. But <laughs> I definitely remember asking a lot of questions when I was a kid about the nature of the universe, how it began, how big it was, what else was out there. I remember having this very strong curiosity about what else was out there, you know, the sense that we were so small on this little planet. It made me feel excited to be part of this grand cosmos, to be part of something so big. So when I sit down to work, I start with a blank sheet of paper and a pen. And then I think of questions about the origin of the universe and the entire fate and evolution of the universe. Like what happens if you throw a neutron star into a black hole? So I start drawing a picture and then we start mathematizing it, figuring out what equations describe that process. The math lets us go deeper where we couldn't otherwise. It's kind of a miracle that the universe can be understood through math feels uh, energizing to think about these things and to have an understanding, to walk away and really see something differently about the universe. That's a very special gift that science can give us. I used to joke that I was an artist trapped in a scientist's body <laughs> and I really had longings for art in many ways. I think this struggle between loving art and loving science really found a resolution in writing where I feel I can do both. My books always have to do with science, even a novel that I wrote has to do ultimately with science. It's the lens through which I see the world and interpret the world, and, and I felt that it's good material for a novel. My novel is called A Madman Dreams of Turing Machines. It's really a book about these two mathematicians and the significant impact that they had. I did not want to write an expository kind of teacherly book about the theorems. I wanted to write a novel because a novel hits you more in the solar plexus. You have a more immediate and impassioned response. And I felt that that was what I was after more than people walking away from reading the book and understanding math. Sometimes I worry that I'm still that same kid who's looking out the window and asking pretty similar questions, really. And then other times I don't worry about it, I'm, I'm happy about it. <laughs> I think it's a good uh, condition to be in as a scientist to still have that little kid inside you. <laughs>